Hello friends, welcome to an Engineer Boys YouTube channel. My name is Isil Khan and in this video we are going to learn about the bearing systems. But what's bearing? Let's learn about the bearing first then we'll go ahead for the bearing systems, right? Remember bearing is an angle made by a common line with meridian line. If you see in the diagram, meridian line is just the north-south line. And if you see that blue line is just making an angle with that meridian line. So that angle is known just by bearing. That's not a common angle, right? If two common lines are making an angle with each other, that's just a common angle. And if a line is making an angle with the reference line, that's just the north-south line, that angle is not a common angle. That's known by a bearing, right? Now I hope you know about the bearing definition, so let's go ahead by the bearing systems. But I have a question, why should I learn the bearing systems? Let's just learn this question first. Let's say if there is a line in the first quadrant like this one, just you can say, and that line is just making an angle with the meridian line you can say, just like in that palm. But however, if there is a line in the third quadrant like this one, how should I take the bearing of this line? Can I take this just from the north clockwise? Can I take this just from the south clockwise? Or should I take this from the north anticlockwise? That's a big question, right? So that's why we need to learn the bearing systems. Because we have the problem of measuring the bearings. The bearing can be clockwise or it can be anticlockwise. So how should I take it? So let's go ahead for bearing systems and remember there are only two bearing systems, right? One is the whole circle bearing system and the another one is the reduced bearing system. Let's just learn about the whole circle bearing system first. Remember whole circle bearing is the horizontal angle made by a line with north-south in the clockwise direction. Here north means the north-south pole line, right? So whole circle bearing that should be clockwise from the north. Also remember in this system of bearing, the video of bearing may be from 0 degree to 360 degrees. Like let's take uh, a few examples. If there is a line, let's say line 1 in the first quadrant, what should be its bearing? We'll just measure that angle from the north clockwise just like in date palm. And this is approximately 50 degrees. Also, let's take another example of line 2. What should be its bearing? How should we measure it? Remember that should be from the north clockwise just like in this palm. And this is approximately 230 degrees, right? Also, let's take another example of line number 3. And what should be its bearing? Whole circle bearing. We'll take this one just from the north clockwise toward the line just like in this palm. And this is approximately 300 degrees because one quadrant is just 90 degrees so it's covering three quadrants which is 270 and this little portion let's assume this is just uh, 30 degrees so it's 300 degrees right so this is the whole circle bearing system right and this system the uh, bearing is always taken clockwise or it's measured clockwise from the north toward that line that's so simple right Let's go ahead for the another bearing system which is the reduced bearing system. And in this system, in the reduced bearing system I mean bearing are measured from the north or south direction toward east or west. For the whole circle bearing, remember the direction was only one, right? That was just the north direction and it was just clockwise. Here the directions are two the north or south it may be right and toward east or west you can say so if it can be uh, toward east or west and it's measured from north or south direction so we can say it can be clockwise or anti-clockwise also if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise this means we can take this bearing in each quadrant right you can say so its video must be from 0 degree to 90 degrees for example, how should we take the bearing of line number 2? Remember this should be just anti-clockwise from the north toward the line just like in this palm. And this is approximately 40 degrees, right? So this should be anti-clockwise from the north toward that line. And let's take another example like in example of line number 3. And how should we measure the bearing of line number 3? 
Remember this should be clockwise from the south just like in this palm. It's so adjacent to the south right and the line number 2 is just near to the north. That's why we are taking just uh, this situation normally in this palm right. And this is approximately you can say 40 degrees also right. Here another question what should be the bearing of line number 1. I mean how should we measure that. Remember the bearing in the first quadrant are the same in both systems. If this line is making bearing of 40 degrees or 50 degrees, that's just the same for the both systems, right? So there is no difference if the line is in the first quadrant. However, if the line is in the second quadrant, like in this palm, just like the line number 4, its bearing in the reduced bearing system should be anti-clockwise from the south, just like in this palm. So this is just the main difference in these both bearing systems, right? In the whole circle bearing, the bearing is just measured clockwise from the north and it can be from 0 to 360 degrees. And in the reduced bearing system, it can be taken or measured from the north or south toward east or west. And it can be clockwise or anti-clockwise. And its value can be from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. And that's the main difference. So in this video we learnt what's bearing and what are its systems. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello Salam.